And is kicking Iran out of football World Cup uh, and bringing Ukraine a good decision? Bringing in Ukraine is Ukraine not part of the World Cup? I'm pretty sure it is. I don't think there was a. I don't think Ukraine was was ever not involved. Uh, but I could be wrong. But um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know these things. I just know enough. I but I don't follow sports, but I have followed enough the news to know that this is a very difficult decision. I think FIFA has very little time to be able to move sure. Iran out of the World Cup. I mean, this is happening. In Qatar. World Cup is like happening in Qatar, right? Yeah, so very that, soon. Very soon, and people yeah. have paid the tickets. And if you want to pull out Iran, a lot of people could be like, "Well, now I don't want to go anymore." I was mm -hmm. like, "This is false advertising," and the refund process—it just seems like a bureaucratic Daddy. nightmare. Mm -hmm. um, and, but I know that Messi Ali Najad has officially requested for Iran to be pulled out of the World Cup uh, because of the demonstrations and uh, and the revolution apparently that is happening in Iran right now, which is still continuing. By the way, it's forty days since Mahsa Amini has uh, been killed, wow. um, and the protests are still going on continuously, yeah. and people are being shot at. And yeah, I saw that crazy. recently. That was yeah, yeah. that was some terrible shit. Um, yeah. So. Also, I I don't I don't know what would be the bad reason for bringing in Ukraine, for instance. I don't know I don't know why I don't know what argument someone would have that would say, well, this is why it's bad to bring in Ukraine to the World Cup. You know, um, I don't know. Um, that being said, I, I you know I we kind of talked about this I think uh, last the last show and. These organizations, FIFA as well as the International Olympic Committee, these these organizations that put on these these big events like this, um, they're they're not they're not in it for the ethical reasons, right? They're not here to make a, a political stance or an ethical stance. They're here to make a shit ton of money, and they'll do whatever they can for that. If that if that means allowing individuals uh, paid for by their regime that are actively killing their citizens they'll 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 take that money because it spends just the same blood or no blood you know so i mean that's just a realistic you know view of it so. yeah and by the way the secular uh, no, sergu is saying it feels unfair to punish your own athletes because of the government no it's not unfair because they're technically okay so sports are as considered in geopolitics as soft power okay mm -hmm. So as much as it sucks for the athletes, they are officially yep. agents or, I mean, representatives of the Islamic Republic of Iran. Yep. And they are used as a way to further increase a country's soft power. This is a, a soccer team is um, a representative and, and a, a propaganda arm of a regime. Yes. Okay? yes. So, Yes. So mm -hmm. in that sense, it makes complete sense. Like that. that's it's what that's justified. That's literally what every single country does. Every single country, you know, especially when their team starts doing well. Right. Or, or they start bringing home medals or something. Um, and at the end of the day, I mean, maybe maybe it is a little unfair to punish the athletes themselves. That being said, we've had this happen a bunch. I mean, the United States boycotted um, an Olympics years ago, back back in the 70s, right? And sure, all of those people had had spent their whole fucking lives learning how to throw a disc or, or run in a circle. Um, I'm not diminishing it. Those people are much, much better athletes than I'll ever be. But still, yeah, you are kind of an arm of the government there in that soft power sense. Um, so, yeah, unfortunately, mm -hmm. if your government is a really shitty, you know, authoritarian government, you might not get to play sports with everybody. I, I think that's probably a reasonable compromise, personally. Yeah. <laughs> you can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.